Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 2nd of November 2020. It's going to be two cards per day every day of this week. So, Monday, the 2nd of November for you Sagittarius and we have Queen of Swords. Tuesday is Ace of Cups. Wednesday, the Magician, Knight of Pentacles, Thursday, Ace of Wands, Friday, Nine of Pentacles, Saturday, and Justice, Sunday, King of Cups, for you, your influencing energy, there is some man important for you for this week. Somebody who's maybe Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer person. Somebody like that, emotional but stable. And don't panic. Doesn't panic easily. Queen of Swords on Monday with Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, Tuesday with the Moon. Moon is often seen in every in these readings for this week. Often, often, like like we had did have this um, Knight of Wands last week. Everywhere Moon is now everywhere. Magician also often this week. Okay, the magician with the Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Thursday, with Five of Cups, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Friday with Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, with Nine of Pentacles, but that's lovely. Justice on Sunday, with the High Priest, that's Hierophant in other decks. And King of Cups with King of Cups. Double energy of King of Cups, being emotionally very stable, as I said, this one doesn't panic easily, like politician, very diplomatic. Important for you this week. Queen of Swords on Monday with Seven of Swords. Now, Queen of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, somebody who's very factual, very communicative, somebody with a... A sharp tongue, a very intellectual, um, seeing truth, seeing truth, talking truth. You see what I'm saying? Now seven of swords within you. You don't want conflict. You don't want advice. You want to avoid this person. It's kind of, you, you are uncomfortable with this person, Sagittarius. This is air sign. Somebody really can tell you the truth, can't tell you truth, um, but, but somehow you don't want to hear it. It seems it's going to tell you something that you don't want to hear and you just try to avoid this person. You don't want to speak to this person. You don't want to know what this person is going to tell you. You are avoiding it by all means. It seems to you, it's, it's kind of, if you meet this person, it's going to be war zone. It's going to be conflict. It's going to be, you know, that kind of energy. So you find the best solution for you is just to avoid it. Run away from this person, you know. That kind of energies on Monday, very, very connected to communication, to situation with another person, this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, perhaps, or just like that person who's willing to give you advice, who tells you truth, and you're just not, not into it right now, on Monday, particularly. Now, the moon and ace of cups, ace of cups. It's lovely energy, it's emotional fulfillment, it's potential, potential for something emotionally, for something that is emotionally very fulfilling. Something beautiful for you, new love, things that will you will love, you, a place that you would love to be in, these people that you would like to be with. You see what I'm saying? Ace of Cups, love by all means, pleasure, good things. But the moon, the moon is within you. I mean, it's, it's kind of you are preparing yourself, but not really, with, with no certainty at all. You are preparing. You're just preparing for something nice. You know, you are preparing yourself because there is potential for something to be very nice. 
you don't know exactly how and what and who and you know kind of nothing is clear nothing is known on this day on Tuesday I mean not certain with yourself such there is on Tuesday with the moon things are not certain there is also even fear it could be even fear you know ace of cups it's all about emotions and uh, bear in mind you've got lots of fear in here Lots of fear that you might lose this love. That will you ever get it? How? How? What? What is the way to get there? Because this is opportunity. This is possibility in your future. That love is the beautiful moment. Pleasure is the. But uh, uh, not being certain at all. What? How you prepare for that? How you get there? How you get there? What? What do you do? But now Wednesday is something completely different than Monday and Tuesday. You know, this is beautiful energy. You are in your own power. Queen of Wands, that's you, that's Sagittarius, that's fire energy. You've got your ideas. You're implementing it. You are doing it. You intuitive. You can miss nothing. Nothing can, can pass unnoticed. But with pleasure, with joy, with love. You know, you are enjoying it. You are enjoying this work. You are having excellent ideas for your for your future, for long term, something long term in your mind, happily thinking about it, moving towards it. That's I really like Queen of Wands. It's so enthusiastic, so enthusiastic. Look, magician energy in your environment. Whether that you have somebody like that who's very mercurial, these are these are ideas which this person will will kind of do it top top easily you know like nothing can stop you in here you either have your partner with you somebody is there with you who's full of power you trust immensely you trust this person enormously you know that this person will not disappoint you, will get you there. Whatever needs to be done, this person will do, will take you there, implement this idea, execute it. These two are kind of a fantastic marriage, beautiful marriage of these two energies on this day. Having all tools, nothing in here that is unknown, that you cannot. You have everything there, everything that you need to move forward with your idea, to manifest with this idea. You have every single tool at your disposal. And with this fire energy within you, you are really good on this day. Whatever idea that you have on this day, whatever that you see, project, um, situation, I don't know, in your private life, in your business, look forward for this uh, Wednesday, Wednesday because these two energies are really good. You can do something, you can advance in your career, in your private life. Meet somebody who's perfect for you. Whatever that is, look forward for this day. These two energies are beautiful together. Beautiful together. Very confident, very confident. Promises a lot. Promises success, by all means. Unavoidable. <laughs> success. Now, Five of Cups within you, Sagittarius, some sort of disappointment, some sadness in your past, remembering your, your maybe childhood, maybe recent past, that where you really were often, where you um, really find yourself sad, offended, um, hurt. But Knight of Pentacles in your environment, you are moving forward towards something new. After these energies on Wednesday, I think this is just very natural progression. You are going towards this particular idea, this particular goal. And you know you cannot miss it. Only It's only important for you to go step by step. And you cannot miss this goal. And no doubt, you will get your goal. You will be achiever. You see what I'm saying? This is very natural prospect. Work on it slowly but surely, step by step. Lovely. Things are going well for you. And at that point, perhaps you, you felt sad about maybe something that you have to endure or difficulties that you have to go through. You know, but it is a bit sad moment for you personally. Even though things are going well for you. Ace of Wands, your environment with Two of Swords again. Look, Five of Cups and Two of Swords on the very next day. You, 
maybe you are going through some sort of transformation something major is happening in your life in here and i see it very positive maybe you endure a lot a lot of difficulties you know maybe it was difficult time for you and it passes and, and that's why it makes you makes you maybe indecisive maybe 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 you didn't expect the situation with, with real turn in a such a good way that you didn't plan for it you, you see what i'm saying you couldn't plan for something to turn in such a good way and and, and you are kind of unprepared you are unprepared for things going so well could be something like that, Sagittarius, very well, because Ace of Wands is future for you. Ideas about your future are great. Perhaps at that point, as I said, you, you just cannot make up your mind. You cannot make up your mind. You are unprepared for that. doesn't matter. It's good. It's good opportunity and it's lovely, but you are not prepared. You didn't think of it. It was maybe too good to be true. You know, that that's, look at this energy on Wednesday is very important. I think this day is for you important, Sagittarius. And from there, that major, intense and important and big things, and it's changing your life for, for something much better that you couldn't even comprehend. It's that good. Makes you indecisive, makes you really indecisive on Wednesday, on us, on Friday. Really indecisive. Don't undermine being passionate about that new things that is coming. Definitely. You will make decisions. You will certainly make decisions because things are going well for you. If you have to leave something behind, you have to leave behind. If you have to resign, you will resign because you are going for something else, something better. Nine of Pentacles with Nine of Pentacles, confirmation you are achiever. What else to tell you on Saturday? You are enjoying. This is enjoying fruit of your labor. Your money, some money, you receive some money, you receive some um, some, some sort of success or anything. You are achiever on this day and you are enjoying. Everybody see is seeing you here, that you achieve this, you manage that, you yourself done it. Things that you've done on your own. Lovely Saturday, Sagittarius. Now two majors on Sunday. Unusually, Justice and the High Priest. These two are really good in a way that you are uh, grabbing these opportunities and you are not looking back. Grab this opportunity and don't look back. You might offend somebody. Some people might get hurt. But your decision is strong, irreversible irreversible you are aware that you might offend some people that somebody might get hurt you are not stopping yourself doesn't matter even if it's you know maybe family in questions that you now have to leave your family in order to make lots of money you will not delay it doesn't matter you will leave if you did have this small business and now opportunity comes for you to work for this company you will leave your people you will retrench them no mercy there you see what i'm saying you are not looking back you are looking forward what is good for you this is big opportunity for you and you won't miss it you are very grounded very stable whatever it is whatever you need to cut away you cut away that's major decision you will have to make. Uh, some people could find themselves offended or neglected. You see what I'm saying? You are very solid in here and you are only looking forward, definitely. Whatever decision that you have to make, you will make. doesn't matter uh, how difficult decision is. You are grounded. You know what's your end goal. Sagittarius, um, it seems to me big, big week for you, um, and I think I think you're gonna be enjoying it. Maybe not this, maybe not exactly every day of this week, but from now on, I think it's um, good things are coming your way. Enjoy it.